Well, good morning. Today is Veterans Day Sunday, November the 8th, 2020, and I'm looking forward to a day of worship with our Hillsdale Baptist Church families. If you do not have a church home, you're invited to join us in person or online for our worship broadcast today. Pastor Brian Barber teaches an adult Bible study at 9.15 a.m. in our auditorium. In the morning worship, we will broadcast at 10.30 as I continue my study Uh, in the Gospel of Luke chapter 10, looking this morning at the parable of the Good Samaritan and a message that I've titled, Two Religious Shirkers and a Compassionate Samaritan. Now, for our devotional. Our devotional today is, The World Always Has Room for One More Servant. And that is taken from Luke chapter 22 and the scripture reading in John chapter 13. Now, the setting of today's scripture is our Lord's final observance of the Feast of Unleavened Bread and the Passover with his disciples. This is the night in which the Lord will be betrayed. Now, Judas has already agreed with the chief priest to betray Jesus for 30 pieces of silver. And we read now my theme in John chapter 13, taken from the scriptures, his hour was come. Now, Jesus was mindful throughout his ministry that the day would come, but now the day has come that he will be betrayed and die on the cross. Moved by his love for sinners, he would soon express that love in his suffering, his humiliation, and in his death. We read in John chapter 13 and verse 4 that when the supper was ended, Jesus rose from the table and he laid aside his robe, girded himself in a towel, and began began to wash the feet of his disciples. Now, although an awkward moment, the disciples allowed Jesus to wash their feet. But when he came to Peter, Peter objected to this act of servitude by the Lord, and he asked, Lord, dost thou wash my feet? Now, foot washing was a cultural practice in that day as households lacked plumbing and running, running water. Wealthy citizens of a town and a village would go to the public baths in the town. Then they would walk home on dusty streets where they were met by a household servant who washed their feet in a basin of water and dried them with a towel. Washing feet was the work of the lowest servant of the household. Now remember, as Jesus washed the feet of his disciples, among them was Judas, the one who would betray him that night. You know, it, it was one thing to stoop and wash the feet of his disciples. However, to wash the feet of an enemy was an act of love and grace. You know, I would invite you to consider three spiritual lessons from today's scripture. The first is salvation. You know, the disciples believed Jesus was the Christ, the Son of God. However, we read not all believed. Judas rejected Jesus Christ, and his lack of faith forever damned his unbelieving soul. Another lesson is that of sanctification. Jesus washed the feet of his disciples as a reminder that you and I need daily cleansing from sin. The Apostle John would write, If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Now there is a third quality of the servitude that we see in Christ, and that is service itself. And that service is expressed in at least three things, three qualities. The first quality is persevering love. John chapter 13 and verse 1, Jesus loved his all which were in the world and he loved them unto the end. There is also another quality of servitude, unpretentious humility. Jesus washed the disciples' feet and he wiped them with the towel wherewith he was girded. John 13 and verse 5, Paul would later exhort believers in Philippi concerning Jesus that he took upon him the form of a servant. And then third quality of servitude I find in Jesus is enduring commitment. Jesus commanded his disciples, if I then, your Lord and your master, that is your teacher, have washed your feet, ye also ought, should, your duty bound, to wash one another's feet. For I have given you an example that ye should do as I have done to you. John 13, 14, and 15. Now, I close with a thought. You know, the world will always make room for one more servant. 
And my challenge to you today is, will you be that servant? Have a blessed day. I hope we'll see many of you this Sunday morning for worship at 915 and at 1030. God bless you. Bye-bye.